Here I have two scientific notation numbers that I want to add together. And the process of adding scientific notation numbers is that you have to shift one of those exponents to match the other exponent. And then you can add the coefficients. Now, before I actually do this problem, let's talk about the rationale, the reason behind that, that rule. And let me start off by doing a completely different problem. Let's say, for instance, that you have three dozen eggs. And someone comes up to you and hands you six additional eggs. And the question is, how many eggs do you have? You can't just add the three and the six and get nine. You don't have nine of anything. In order to add these together, you have to have basically the same units here. And we have a unit of a dozen, and here we have a unit of individual eggs. So what we have to do is we have to say, well, three dozen is 36 eggs. And I have six eggs in addition. Now that I have the same units, I can add the numbers. And so I have 42 eggs. Or conversely, I could turn this eggs here into dozens. So I could also say three dozen plus half a dozen. So I could say, now that I have the same units, dozens, I could say I have 3.5 dozen eggs. But one way or another, I have to change the dozen into eggs or the eggs into dozen so we have the same units and then I can add them together. So let's at this point talk about the problem at the top of the page. We have 7.1 thousand and we have 500. So what we need to do is we need to make one of those be the same size grouping as the other. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this 100, I'm going to make that into a 1,000. And I'm going to call that 10 to the 3, 1,000. And I've made, 10, uh, I've made this 10 times bigger. 10 to the 3 is 10 times bigger than 10 to the 2. So to compensate, I have to make this 10 times smaller, the coefficient 10 times smaller, so 0.5 thousand. So 500 is the same thing as half of a thousand. And now I have the same units, 7.1 thousand and 0 0.5 thousand. I can add those together, 7.1 and 0.5 gives me 7.6 thousand. And that's our answer. Now I could also have converted the thousand into hundreds. So I could also have written 10 to the 2, going from 10 to the 3 to 10 to 2, that's 10 times smaller. So I'd make this 10 times bigger to compensate. In other words, 7.1 thousand is the same thing as 7100. So now I have 7100 plus 500 gives us 7600, which of course we can write as 7.6 times 10 to the 3. Or we could simply write as a regular number as 7,600. So that's the rationale behind the rule. Basically, you're thinking about groupings. And in order to add those, we have to have the same size groupings, just like when we add dozens of eggs to eggs.